Hey, what's up? What's going on? My name is Sabrina. I'm here to help you glow from within. So if you are interested in all things healthy living and holistic healing, you are going to love the channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the new videos. So usually I like to talk about all things alternative health medicine, healing your body with food and herbal supplements and crystals and all of the things. But today I wanted to dive uh, deep into my personal story with hormonal imbalance because that's something that so many women are going through right now or I've gone through so I wanted to give a little bit my insight on what happened how I was able to balance my hormones using health alternative health medicine and just to give you a little um, more inspiration on how you can do that for yourself too so uh, I have so many different health stories uh, related to my journey that's why I wanted to do a different video on my channel for every uh, each and every one of them so I had a issue with my weight loss journey. Well, so many issues with my weight loss journey. I had issues with my digestion and also I had issues with my hormones. So for this story, let's dive uh, right into it. So I will probably do a whole video on why I stopped taking the pill, the side effects that I um, had when, you know, not stop taking the pill, but when I, uh, why I decided to stop taking the pill and all of this, you know, story will be from a, a, for another video. So for this one is usually for, well, this one will be mainly for hormonal imbalance and, you know, hormonal acne, irregular periods, the cramps and breast tenderness that um, I've experienced from stopping the pill. So uh, just to give you a little heads up, well, I have my notes here because I do have this issue where I kind of like dive into a part of the story and then I get lost. So I just want to stick to the story so it doesn't take like 35 minutes or so just to give you a little insight on what happened. So just to give you a little um, background story with the pill, I started taking the pill at about 15 years old. Um, it was mainly because of acne. I wanted to get rid of acne at that point and I uh, wasn't feeling so great a while on it but I decided to keep um, taking the pill for about seven years and I just didn't know that my depression symptoms were mainly coming from the pill. I thought it was just maybe a teenager kind of like puberty uh, period I was going through or something but looking back I just know that the moment that I started taking the pill, it was the moment that I also started having those kind of like depression symptoms um, or just not feeling really like myself. But I just, yeah, I didn't know it was coming from the pill back then. So I was on it for about seven years and fast forward to a few years um, later, I got started on my holistic lifestyle journey so I decided to start uh, cooking for myself eating healthier foods moving my body in different ways every day and at this point I was like how can I get rid of this prescription drug that is definitely just tricking my hormones and I started to look up uh, on more information on how you can stop taking the pill I called my doctor all of these little research things that I started doing and eventually I stumbled upon a video online um about all of the side effects of quitting the pill and how uh, women were going through this journey and how much time it was taking them to actually get back on track and feeling like themselves again. And obviously it just made me, you know, really fear the fact that maybe I should just stick to the pill and, you know, shut my, shut my mouth and just like feel really bad about all of this, you know, thing, but at least I wasn't going to go through this hormonal imbalance journey. So Eventually, I decided to um, stop taking it and for about six months, I didn't have any issues with hormonal imbalance. For about six months, there was like, um, I was actually just starting my um, Ayurvedic practice journey. So I was just studying Ayurveda at this point. So I was just taking a few teas here and there, uh, thinking that it would help me prevent a hormonal imbalance, which is really funny because obviously well, tea helps, but I'll get into, you know, the how to actually balance your hormones at the end of this video. And I'll also have a lot of other videos on how to actually balance your hormones or hormones naturally. But teas are great, you know, add-ons, but most of the work is done through lifestyle practices and stress management. So yeah, I was just beginning my uh, Ayurvedic journey, uh, my student Ayurvedic journey. So I was taking a few teas here and there and obviously it didn't work that much. Um, but after about the seventh month after stopping the birth control, 
I uh, started to get really painful cystic acne in the neck and around the jaw area. And I thought maybe, you know what, it's maybe just I haven't uh, been washing my um, my face properly, like taking off my makeup properly. It'll go away, don't worry about it. And eventually the next month it came, it, it, it gets, you know, it got, you know, it, it came back. And eventually the next month it came back. And you, I added on top of that some breast tenderness and also um, my boobs would get so big. For about two weeks out of four, like my boobs would get so big, my bras couldn't fit, my clothes couldn't fit. I started to actually gain five pounds of water weight every month and then I lose it. And then, you know, the cycle will always come back where I would get painful cystic acne. And because I am mixed race, whenever I do get some type of painful cystic acne, it scars like hell. It leaves like really dark spots. So every time I would be stuck with a lot of acne scars and hormonal painful cystic acne, that would just make me feel so self-conscious. Plus, uh, none of my clothes would fit because of the water rate and the breast tenderness was so painful that I couldn't even like go for a run or anything. Like I, I, I couldn't do anything at this point because I, I was feeling just really sad. And, and it's not just the, the breast tenderness and the water rate and the acne. Like there was also obviously hair loss uh, mood swings, cravings, my digestion was off track, like nothing was working. I had, uh, I was so tired all the time. There was no way that I could keep going with my personal projects because I always have so many different projects going on and I like to work on so many things at once. And at that time I couldn't work on all of these things because I didn't want to show up online. I didn't want to show up anywhere. Like I just wanted to wear my boyfriend's clothes, like loose fitting boyfriend's clothes because nothing would fit. Like none of my yoga pants would fit. Nothing um, would feel nice at this point. So I just was wondering like is there a way maybe I could come back with the pill? Like, should I go back? And eventually when I um, called my two, like two doctors, they both said to me, there's no, way we can actually treat hormonal imbalance. There's no way we can balance your hormones unless you go back on the pill or if uh, you have some kind of IUD or like what he called it, a medical device. Like there was no way I was going to put a medical device in my yoni. <laughs> so at this point I was just like, okay, let's start doing some research because I was four months in this hormonal imbalance nightmare. So I uh, decided to look up into you know, solutions, trying to find some ways to balance my hormones and feel better. So, um, oh, and on the other hand, I also forgot to say that usually PMS lasts about three to five days before uh, prior to your period. And I say usually because PMS has have definitely been normalized, but they are not normal. They are just a sign that there's some imbalance going on in your body. But usually PMS lasts for about three to five days. And for me, PMS would last for about 14 days. So for about half uh, of the month, I would feel like total crap. So I knew I started to do some research into feeling like, is there an alternative way to balance my hormones and not going back on the pill? And I was like, there's no way I'm going back to my not so feeling, not, not like myself. Like I, I had those, all of those depression kind of feelings when I was on the pill. So there was no way I was going back on this just to get rid of the um, imbalances and just put a band-aid on those symptoms. So I wanted to get rid of all of this using alternative health medicine. And there wasn't a lot of um, content online. A few things that I found were a few books here and there about eating healthy and taking care of your body. But it was just at this point so basic that I you know, didn't want to go, get, um, go through this journey of just wanting to eat healthy like with no plans behind or anything. Like There was no way for me that it could work. But uh, I stumbled upon acupuncture and there were a few studies about acupuncture helping with hormonal imbalance. So I uh, start acupuncture sessions with this lady, but I didn't have a really nice connection with this woman. So every time I would get to, the, to her office, I would even get more anxious and stressed out. So I think that's one of the reasons it actually didn't work. So I think once you get a really good connection with um, your practitioner, I think, you know, it could work. But in my case, it was just making things worse actually. So um, yeah, as I said earlier, I was just starting my journey as an Ayurvedic uh, coach. So 
I didn't really know at that time that Ayurveda could help with hormone imbalance, but eventually along my journey of studying and reading my books and going through my program, I uh, learned about, you know, the power of Ayurvedic practices to heal your hormones or balance your hormones. So I reached out to an Ayurvedic practitioner and that's where I, that's when I actually started seeing results. And looking back, it's funny because I could have seen results really uh, quickly uh, when I started her plan, but I was just not consistent. I didn't really follow through like every practices perfectly. So that's why it took me a few months to get back on track. But looking back, like in, even from my experience as an Ayurvedic coach, I know that balancing your hormones can take up to like a month, maybe two months if you stick through uh, the Ayurvedic treatment plan. So basically, um, Ayurveda, just uh, in a nutshell, is the oldest holistic healing system. Um, and how Ayurveda likes to see hormonal imbalance, well, there are different reasons why we get this, but the first thing is um, our liver is overwhelmed and overheated because it has so many things to process between, you know, the excess hormones from the pill. Um, okay, so my SD card was full, so I had to cut <laughs> this in the middle. Um, I was saying that Ayurveda is the oldest healing system and how Ayurveda likes to see um, hormonal imbalance, but there are, there are really a lot of different reasons, but mainly it's because our liver is overwhelmed and overheated because it has to process so many different hormones from, you know, taking the pill for so many years in my case, uh, plus processing the stress hormones of daily life and daily stressors, plus like a whole bunch of different things where you're, if your gut, if you're not having a daily bowel movement and getting rid of all of this excess, toxin, excess toxins in your body, everything is just disturbed. Like this is a really holistic practice where it takes in, into account so many different aspects of your life. And um, obviously how you sleep, like there's so many different things that could, um, you know, get in the way of, uh, for your liver to actually process all of these excess hormones. And that's not even counting like the hormones that we actually ingest every day from the foods and the water. Like there's all of these different synthetic hormones that we are um, constantly ingesting every day. So all of these, well, obviously uh, the hormonal imbalance plan or treatment plan is really different for everyone. And it definitely is an individualized practice. Ayurveda Helix to see the person as a whole, like it's not a big, you know, it's not just a pill that you give to everyone. So um, I will give you some suggestions based on my experience and as an Ayurvedic coach, what I would say to someone that wants to balance their hormones, because that's exact, exactly uh, the kind of journey that I've gone through. So basically hormonal imbalance is taking care of your stressors in life. So the first one is stress. So if you could take care of any stressors, either uh, getting, rid of, getting rid of these stressors, and if you can't, uh, making sure that you double down on your self-care and making sure that you do all of your yoga practices, breathing practices, um, all of these self-love kind of really stress relieving practices like meditation to slow down or you know get rid as much as possible from the stress hormones in your body so your liver doesn't have to actually process this you know so the second thing would be to take care of your liver and a good rule of thumb if you want to take care of your liver generally is to take aloe vera gel or juice at night or before um, before going to bed or in the morning, it is a great way to cool down your liver and make sure that it is fun functioning properly. So aloe vera gel and our juice are, are, you know, usually good practices just to maintain uh, li good liver health. And if you are going through our hormone imbalance journey, it will definitely help as well. And I know in my case, I had to uh, use a little pinch of turmeric in my aloe vera gel to make sure uh, to stimulate a little bit this overwhelming, uh, I would say, I would say it was more of a sluggish liver. So I had to put a little bit of turmeric in there, but that really depends again on your situation. But overall, um, having some aloe vera juice or gel, make sure that they are, are good to eat because a lot of the aloe vera products that we can find out there are only for external purposes. So um, aloe vera juice, making sure that you are taking care of your stressors. And lastly, making sure that your gut health is functioning properly. So uh, not having any digestive issues like bloating or anything, making sure that you have a daily bowel movement to get rid of all of the excess hormones and toxins from uh, out of your body. 
and I've got a whole playlist on how to take care of your gut health, mainly because in Ayurveda, most of our imbalances start at the gut or in the, or in the mind. So um, make sure to take care of your gut health, liver health, and make sure also to um, get rid of as much as possible from these stressors in your life or uh, practicing all of these stress relief practices that I share on the channel to, um, yeah, make sure that your liver is doing good. So I do have a magic grounding meditation uh, that you can download it below because as I said earlier, a lot of the hormonal imbalance uh, root cause is stress. So if you want to start a daily grounding meditation practice, I have one that I'm uh, guiding you through a 10 minute body scan combined with an Ayurvedic practice that will help you soothe your nervous system and um, just ground your whole body in general, make you feel a little bit less stressed. So make sure to download it below and practice it daily to uh, take care of your hormonal health and take care of your body. So um, I hope this was inspiring and helpful and valuable. If so, please leave a big thumbs up and a comment below. I would love to know if you have gone through this um, similar journey or if you are going through it uh, right now. And also make sure to share and subscribe along the way. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.